Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Drupal on Windows. To get started, download the latest version of XAMPP. Then we'll download the latest release of Drupal, as well as the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. Navigate to your downloads directory and execute the Visual C++ installer. Check the I Agree checkbox, then click Install. Once the installation completes, click Close. Next, extract the downloaded XAMPP zip archive. Then extract the downloaded Drupal source code. Rename the extracted folder Drupal, removing the version number. Then cut the Drupal folder and navigate into XAMPP htdocs and paste it from your clipboard. Navigate up one directory, then run the setup xampp.bat file. Once the script completes, launch xampp control.exe. Select a language, then click the start buttons across from Apache and MySQL to start those processes. Back in File Explorer, navigate into the MySQL bin directory. While holding Shift, right click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. Now we use the MySQL command line utility to log into the database as the root user. Using SQL commands, we'll create a new Drupal database. Then we'll create a Drupal MySQL service account with full permissions to the new database. We'll flush the MySQL privileges, then exit the MySQL prompt and close out of PowerShell. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash Drupal. Select language and click continue. Leave standard selected and click continue. If you receive any warnings, click continue anyway at the bottom of the page. Complete the database configuration form by entering the MySQL database name, username, and password, then click continue. Once the installation completes, configure the site by entering a site name, site email address, then creating an admin username and password. Welcome to Drupal, running on your Windows device.